whole concept of what we're talking about. It's not just the fringe theater. It's all these exciting things happening and pulling together. You know, everybody, whether it's the laneways or the laundromat stuff or the fringe. It's no waste of time. You've got to do this on the air. Okay? <laughs> we're, on, we're live anyway. Well, it's on the air, so keep on talking. <laughs> but, it, but these wonderful things, if we could just all support one another now. Well, you know, then. we're doing this in my corner of my living room. Oh, I love it. I really and feel And this like is it. all it is. We yeah. could do the store, we could do the show from your art gallery. Yeah, Mitchell had mentioned that, yeah. Do it down, mm -hmm. downtown, and that would attract something. Mm -hmm. We could interview, you know, it was funny. Um, Paul, as you know, was on my daily show when I had a yes. daily show, and yes. that was fun. And But, uh, and I'm sure that the reason they canceled the show is that Paul was the, on it. The fellow, well, no, the uh, fellow who came out from Toronto in charge kept on suggesting guests, and I never took one single guest that he suggested, and that was uh -huh. likely silly, but uh -huh. I remember they wanted to put Susan, whatever her name was, the NDP Minister of Housing on, and he made such a good play for that we should have the Minister of Housing on that I went down and got Sam Campbell on, who Sam lives in SRO down in the downtown southeast side, which is down different from the downtown east side. Mm -hmm. Gastown's downtown east side. Downtown southeast side is from oh, um, Hastings to the Granville Bridge uh, uh, mainland over to Burrard. Uh -huh. It's that whole other area mm -hmm. that's also being redeveloped. Yes. And uh, Sam is sort of the mayor of that general area and rides around on a bicycle and helps people that are in trouble. He's lives on welfare, and he's a wonderful guy. I see him once in a while. I saw him a couple of weeks ago. And we put Sam on instead of Minister of Housing yeah. to talk about the housing, because she was, you know, talk about the housing problem and what was going on. And mm -hmm. Jim Green instead of the Minister of Housing. And mm -hmm. um, it would be fun to sort of sit down and gas down or do some recordings of what's happening, because Jack Wasserman used to have a studio in gas and gas down on the edge of, uh, down by Blood Alley there. And mm -hmm. You don't know who Jack was, but no, Jack was the, um, Jack Webster had a studio there, and Jack Wasserman, and they shared a space, and Webster was the morning host on CJOR radio, and uh, Wasserman was the columnist in the Vancouver Sun. Mm -hmm. And these two guys just had a ball down in Gastown. Mm -hmm. It was priceless. So... When you talk about the laundromat, now, what was there, 18 people guessed in that? Or how many Max. audience? Max. was 18 Max. or was it 12? Probably somewhere in between. Yeah, it was, I can't 15. remember what you said, 12 or 15, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. And you could do that kind of thing in your gallery. Absolutely. You could do that. And Absolutely. you could do Wagabondi in your gallery, which is really funny that you're talking mm -hmm. about one and it's the same lady involved in I it. I didn't know that. Yeah, she's mm -hmm. off in uh, she's out there in Toronto. Yeah, she's off in Toronto right mm -hmm. now. Do you know what she does when she's not? She's an accountant, uh -huh. but and she rides a Kawasaki motorcycle. Uh -huh. She makes wigs. Uh, <laughs> there's a, a store, the corner store next to the gallery is a wig shop. Really? Yes. Well, <laughs> well Brenda makes wigs for productions, and she's in uh -huh. uh, Toronto right now uh -huh. for a new stage show that's being produced. Um, I can't remember the name of it, and she's doing wigs for the stage show. Uh -huh. So it's a very small world, and yeah. you could do that down there. You could do the kind. So you could do the laundromat one. I didn't see it. I wanted to see it and very didn't get good. around to it. Very good. There was another one that uh, Mitchell and I went to see that was at the Waldorf Hotel, uh -huh. and it was 18 people maximum, and it was in a tiny, hotel tiny hotel room, yeah. uh -huh. and um, absolutely amazing what mm -hmm. they could do in this small space, which mm -hmm. was smaller than this area that we've got right mm -hmm. here. 18 people sitting in it, mm -hmm. a bed, mm -hmm. you know, a chest of drawers, a television yes. and all this stuff, window looking out over the parking lot, mm -hmm. and we're all just tight like this sitting in the corner. Do you know what's interesting about that, David? The concept of sitting in a laundromat and observing people doing their laundry and interacting is not that far away from participants coming into a gallery and looking at the work of an artist and the artist interacting with the audience. Yes. There's an intimacy that is created. It's maybe a further, 
it's removed a little bit further, but it still creates an intimacy. It's what you see on Gastown by going down. There's uh, wood carvers, there's glass boat blowers, mm -hmm. there's mm -hmm. welders, there's mm -hmm. the wooden boat place. Yeah. There's all sorts of places where you can go down and get involved with the artist yeah. who's doing it. But they're tactile, structural. Yeah. I'm not really... Um, well, see, uh, you can see there's two paintings there. I'm not sure. Can you see that my sheriff's car in the far yes, corner yes, over top of Paul's head? Yes. Um, that was painted by Dean Croft. And Dean uh, is working as an artist in North Vancouver right now. And uh, that's my sheriff's car that we were talking about with Richard a little bit earlier. And he did that. That's the Lionsgate Bridge is what it's supposed to be. And then as a difference, Dean also did this painting up on top here. Mm -hmm. If you can see the one of the... Uh, yeah. And Richard's doing a good job of, uh, of uh, bringing that one in. And then, Richard, if you want to scan across to the one that's beside it here, which is a reproduction, uh, one of 50 or something or other. Emily. No, no. no it's a fellow named Harris. I, I think he, he wasn't one of the group of seven, but he was close to them. Hmm. And I bought that for $5 at a flea market. Uh -huh. Brought it home. Peter, who you have met and who Paul knows intimately, um, was using it as a dartboard when I found them, <laughs> and it's worth five thousand dollars. It's, it's uh, that's what they're selling for on the on the a market. That board. that particular one, and uh, there's three or four holes where the darts were I in can it. See. Yeah. And I and I figured that the darts, because Peter did them, make it more valuable. Oh, Does that make sense, Paul? You, yeah, <laughs> he says sure, but you know there's a story behind. Yeah. Everything, yeah. if I can be yeah. so bold. Yeah. And if you've got the I mean, there's, there's that uh, mask carving over there. You can see that mm -hmm. uh, you know, we've, we've just got, and these are uh, George Rammel, Bill Reed uh, things. We were using them as props in the show we did before you got here. Mm -hmm. But uh, they were supposed to be awarded to the one on the left, which is the cutting taxes. And this is Space Age because those two um, are sitting in front of a, um, what do you call it? Fuel cell. A fuel cell that takes methanol and turns it into electricity. Mm -hmm. So you can run a camera off in the middle of the bush on an eagle's nest or something. Mm -hmm. But those are genuine bronzes. Mm -hmm. And uh, they were going to be awarded at the end of each year to the politician, see the one's got cutting taxes, yeah. it was going to be yes. awarded to the politician that did the best in the world, in my opinion, for the tax system. And the one, which is the hammer, Ingram hitting, was going to be awarded to the politician that had done the stupidest thing for ta the tax system in the world. And uh, it wasn't limited to Canada. We were going to, you know, somebody in Holland had done something. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're going to keep it, but the the deal was that he'd been awarded the hammer or he'd yes. been awarded the tax cutter. Yes. So you can have fun with art. Yes, absolutely. You can have fun. Yeah. All right. So November 4th, November 12th. 12th. That's the day of the infamous budget that Joe Clark, the Prime Minister of Canada, got defeated. You know that November 12th, no, 1981. I didn't. I didn't you know, that's know. the one. The that's the budget that got him defeated, and Pierre Elliott Trudeau came back in as a. Prime Minister of Canada. Well, from now on, it will remem be remembered as the opening of the Baron Gallery. Baron Gallery. 293 Columbia Street in downtown Vancouver. Six to nine on November the 12th. Seven to nine. Well, oh, seven to nine. Yes. Oh, okay, we're going to change the day. Seven to nine. Show up. Bring your sense of humor. <laughs>